Moving on to more easier, exciting ones, time series, which we all know, but there are some tricks about time series. So time series chart, let me tell you this. A time series chart is not a line chart. Again, a time series chart is not a line chart. Most times people mix these two types of charts together as in nothing works in the way that they expect. And we'll see why. First of all, a time series chart, as the name suggests, it shows values over time, allowing us to look at trends and patterns over time series analysis, perform time series analysis. And because of that, it expects and requires a date field as its dimension. So the dimension for X axis should be a date field. I don't know, year, month, day, whatever, but it should be date because it's a time series, right? And it can show at its simplest form a value over time, okay? But it can also break down that value across different categories of a dimension. So we were looking at users, right, in aggregate. Now we can look at users broken down by user type, right? New versus returning user. The sum of these two values, right, about 2,000 will be equal to the actual total number of users on that day. So we can break it down and see the breakdown across different categories, which actually uncovers some interesting insights here. So this spike was all from new visitors, for example. Here we couldn't say, right? Now we can see something has happened. Another example, users by day per device category. So not any kind of dimension that has different categories, we can apply it to the metric to break it down. Like this one shows it differently than this one breaking it down by a different category. The way of doing it is applying the metric to the time series chart. So this is a time series chart. By the way, all the charts are available here with the same name that I'm covering them here. So we can add a time series chart or a bar chart or a score conduct table. But when you select the time series, if you only apply date and a metric, it will be simply plotting metric over time, but you can apply any breakdown dimension that you want. Here I've applied device category. I can apply any other dimension that I want to break down this metric into. Also, it is capable of showing comparison period over period. So this one shows the values for the previous date range with a lighter shade of color, which is again, a kind of a standard feature is expected, but it's really helpful to see how are we comparing between right now and previous period. Something else, which is a little bit hidden in the data studios interface, but it's capable of is that I'm applying the dimension of date on these time series that I'm showing, right? Which day, how much users, revenue, et cetera. But Data Studio can automatically calculate and plot my data using different date range granularity, okay? Despite my date field is in day format, right? So I have values per day, I can select to show values per week of year or per month or per quarter, right? And the way of doing it is that regardless of the date range that we apply to this chart, so this is the same date range, but here, I can click on it and on the type, I can decide that, yeah, I want to add show it with a different granularity, right? Yeah, month, quarter, month, quarter, month, day, ISO, week of year, or date, which is the day of the year, okay? So we can change the granularity here and it will show us based on that. Easy peasy. And now back to my main point, a time series chart is not a line chart. So for the same time series, for the same time series chart, if we head over to this tile tab, right, we can select each of the series to be plotted with lines or with bars. So it's the same graph, but it's right now it's showing bars, it can show a line. And in that way, it's different. What One of the ways it's different from a line chart. Sometimes when we have fewer categories, so we have a longer kind of date range granularity, like quarter or month, it might be a good idea to use bars instead of simply lines so we can see and compare values easier. Any questions about time series?